after the release of Spiral, they announced that uh, there would be a Saw 10. Saw X, people are calling it, but uh, X means 10 for Roman numeral. So there's a 10th Saw movie, and it looks more like it could be a sequel to Spiral. Chris Rock's interested in coming back to the franchise to create more Saw films. And earlier this week, or was it last week, uh, the producers, Mark Berg, Oren Kules and all, the Saw producers went on Instagram Live and they did a, like a q and A. I missed it. I was busy last week thinking to see it. How, uh, another YouTuber, TH Jamie, you call him. Uh, I don't know the guy, but coincidentally we have the same name. Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back, Jamie here today. An exciting news. Two new Saw films have officially been announced. Uh, he seems to have screen recorded it and he has footage where from the event and the producers uh, basically asked the fans if they would like to see a Saw sequel to Tobin Bell or a sequel to Spiral. And obviously the fans picked Tobin Bell. So this could end up being Jigsaw 2. My question is, is the next movie, would you rather be a Spiral movie or a Tobin Bell movie? A, you know, a Jigsaw movie. I'd love to know what, uh, what people think about that. There's we're working on two different scripts, the complete opposite scripts, but we're working on a uh, Spiral 2 and a uh, Saw 10. Right now we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of overwhelming jigsaw in here. <laughs> Good. What I find very strange is that there's no sources reporting this, you know, and at first, you know, when I heard this here, I shrugged it off like it was nothing because usually whenever the producers come out and say, oh, this is what we're doing with Saw, there's loads of news articles all over the internet posting about it. Whereas I can't find any sources that comes out and confirms it. And the only source I have is from the Instagram live video that the producers went on to. That's all I'm going off. So I find it very strange. You know, that's very unusual. Unless everybody's just sick of the song movies and nobody cares anymore. But that's, you know, there is a, a good following behind the movies. Uh, the original plan for Jigsaw 2 was to have the movie set between the second and third Saw movies. Um, I thought it would probably make more sense if the film took place between the first and second Saw movies instead of the second and third. Because between Saw 1 and Saw 2 there's like a six month gap there. You know, it meant that they could have Jigsaw 2 take place between Saw 1 and Saw 2 and Jigsaw 3 could be between Saw 2 and Saw 3. Or Maybe they wanted, you know, Jigsaw 2 between Saw 2 and Saw 3, so Jigsaw 3 would take place, you know, in the future. I like this idea, if they make Jigsaw 2, and I hope that they film it the way they filmed the earlier Saw films. I mean, Jigsaw is alright, but um, it really just felt like watching an extended CSI. That's pretty much what it felt like. It felt like all the fans got together, made their own Saw movie, and it's canon. That's what Jigsaw felt like. But it was had a more cohesive story than Saw 3D, Saw 7 3D had. If Jigsaw 2 takes place between Saw 1 and Saw 2, that means they could bring back Mark Hoffman, Amanda Young, and it'd be interesting to see their relationship, their dynamic with Logan Nelson, if they ever got to meet him. Uh, we'd find more backstory, so I'd say I reckon there'd be a lot of retconning there, and um, as long as they do it justice and don't mess things up, you are making convoluted. I'm happy enough with that there. But it means that we have a chance of seeing Hoffman and Amanda because they would have been with John at that point. Um, originally, you know, Mark Hoffman was the first apprentice. And now it's been retcon where Logan Nelson was. So obviously, Logan Nelson has to have met Hoffman and Amanda. You know, at some point he has to have known about them. I'll be interested to see where that goes. I see the Saw TV series is mentioned an awful lot, um, but there's no context to it. Like we don't know if that's going to be a sequel to Spiral, if that's going to be another anthology series set in the Saw universe, or will it be a prequel or a sequel to one of the films, or take place during the same time period as one of the films? Don't know, but it seems to be there. That's mentioned a lot. I don't know where they're going with that. Also, I don't think I'd be talking about this again. They're making a new Saw game. I don't know where the timeline that'll take place, if that'll be calendar the movies or not. Another thing, don't expect Detective Eric Matthews to come back to Saw. Uh, Donnie Wahlberg literally wants nothing to do with Saw. He was originally meant to be killed off in Saw 3 
and they decided to cut that scene out so he could come back to Saw 4. Danny Wahlberg wasn't very happy about that there, he was annoyed at them because they wanted him to be the main protagonist of Saw 4 and he didn't want to come back so they rewrote the script where Rick was the main protagonist and then Danny Wahlberg changed his mind that he would come back and then they had to tweak the script, rework it to include Eric Matthews. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, Eric Matthews, you know, it's a possibility they might have archive footage or a photograph of him, I'd say it could be mentioned, there could be a direct reference to him there, or it could just uh, not mention him at all. But I'd say there probably will be some references to him. But I wouldn't expect Donnie Wahlberg to come back. He might come back for a cameo. Or they might just get a body double, someone that looks like him, to fill in the shoes, you know, briefly. They might do that. You know, because he is a popular character. Everyone, everybody loves Eric Matthews, even though he was an a -hole. So yeah, this Saw game, honestly, I think... Uh, I would love it if Capcom took over. I mean, look how they handled the Resident Evil remix. You know, the engine that they used and the graphics of the story. Like, I, I'd rather that there. Konami made a balls of the Saw game. The story was alright, but it's just the gameplay. It was just all over the place. It just, it just didn't feel like Saw. And what they did with Detective Tap, he looked younger than he was. Looked and sounded nothing like Danny Glover. <laughs> he was actually. It just it was a major continuity error with the character, and it's, it's, they just half-assed it. Didn't like that. So if Capcom, like, if they took over, there's no official confirmation that Capcom is involved. They probably go back to Columbia. They might go back to uh, they might go to an studio. They can do it. But uh, that remains to be seen, and hopefully they've learned their lesson and actually give us a proper game. I only played the first solo game for like 15, 20 minutes, and then I just turned it off. It didn't work for me. I didn't like it. The game mechanics were just awful. There's a strong fan base there, you know, among the cult. There is a, a cult following, let's put it that way. We would be the subscribers to the Jigsaw Rules website, that's an analogy for you. But, um, I just find that strange. And you, usually that means, you know, if no other news sites uh, talks about this here, that means that um, what we're hearing is BS, but apparently. Allegedly, it's confirmed this is meant to be happening, and it's just it slipped under the radar. So, we'll just have to wait and see. I do believe there's another Saw movie coming, probably two more Saw movies. I do believe that's happening, but I wouldn't expect it many times soon. I'd say if we got Saw 10, it could be 2023, you know, at the earliest, or you never know, they might start shooting it in January, February, and then we get it this time next year, you know. I like the. F I I do prefer that they would just take their time now and make the Saw movies, because yeah, it was nice to have a Saw movie come out every single year, but it meant that the production crew were rushing the storylines. You know, they weren't taking the time you know to work out the characters, the plot, and all. It was it was really rushed, and they did do a good job. You know, despite the productions being rushed, but it'd be better if they just did it like once every two years or once every three years, because it means that you know, it's basically what I'm saying is quality over quantity. I'd rather have one good Saw movies than two rushed Saw movies, even though two rushed Saw movies are as good as any for me, I'll watch them, but you know, I think it's better to have one solid good Saw movie where they've taken their time to make it, instead of two half-assed Saw movies that, you know, could have been a lot better. And that's all I have covered. Yeah. And remember guys, if it's Halloween, it must be Saw.